VA Esports taking on Navi in this heavy weight battle. And Dobbs is in to start with a queen charge low. Starting off with that flame flinger to the top side. Queen is down as well. And she's going to make her way left. No Rue Rider here to try to open up some walls for this queen. He's got the wall breaks, which busts through the first wall here. And actually, he opens up the compartment with the... Oh, queen. She should come back to the air defense, so she should be okay here. As he's going to continue his way through with that level 21 King Gauntlet. 18 life gem. As that queen continues into the ricochet cannon. The multi-archer tower there. His king is going to go take out that defensive queen. There's the defensive rage going off. King popping the ability. Taking that queen down. That pixel king becoming mega is insane. The headhunter's coming out. The lava hound is there. And there's a wall break for the, in the middle of this base for this queen. That's a lot of damage, but the queen is staying alive. Wall breaks opening to the tower compartment. Flame flingers continuing to try to take out the scatter shot. Take out that multi-target inferno. The hound's going to pop. Going to drop maybe a minion. Yes, perfect. The minion to help clear a pup. At least one or two to help this queen charge into this town hall even quicker. And then come in with the lol. Dropping another rage. Right? Raging, raging, raging this queen up to continue her way through. Town hall is going down. As he's going to start the lalo to the bottom side with the RC coming to the left. That queen is continuing, trying her best to take out the town hall. Which the poison got launched. There's another rage invested on these healers for this queen. And she is staying up here. As we got the RC making her way towards this monolith, balloons continuing their path through. Does have he already burned that warden ability, so it's a matter of pushing through this backside. Queen staying alive as we have super minions coming out of that flame flinger, and super minions getting distracted on the king, and they are all dying as he keeps freezing up the scatter shot. Four more balloons to utilize, popping the queen ability, which is going to get some fantastic value here in the core. Taking out that multi arch tower. The defensive king did take damage from the super mi minion, so he is lower health here. Does have an invis. Can use the RC ability for the back end defenses and these balloons that can help go for the cannons. As the multi arch tower goes down, makes the king invisible so that they stop going for him. And it is a three star taking down Gaku's base. GG to you, Dobbs and VA Esports. Starting off with that P. Castro is leading it off here for Navi. But P. Castro, this is not supposedly his main account because you see Ice Golems are not maxed out. His King Gauntlet is not maxed out. On his other account, it is all maxed out. But he's still focusing on the Healer Puppet on his Queen. Level 14 there. Yeti does help take out the Wizard Tower. Barbarian's distracting the Mortar here, so the Flame Flinger can continue to move through. Distracting, distracting, distracting. That goes down. Lightning spells help grab the Defensive Raid spell. The Monolith. The Multi-Archer Tower. And I believe a Sweeper was in the mix, too. I only see one Sweeper there. The Flame Flinger's continuing through. We got a queen towards the top side behind the ice golem. There is the ground expo, which will switch targets onto the queen after the ice golem dies and freeze wears off. The king is going to make his way into the bomb tower into the scatter shot. So he's going to turn this into a queen charge, pretty much. King's ability goes off, taking out the enemy queen in two shots, continuing his way into the scatter shot, dealing splash damage to the scatter, which is insane. Ricochet cannon goes down with ease. Dude, the King Gauntlet is too crazy, man. It's too crazy. Rerouting this queen in towards the town hall. Flame Flinger is continuing. It's about to be in range of this air expo. He pops the ability now as these healers are going to take damage from the town hall. Nobody's okay. Now these healers are going to be able to heal this queen up. As he has the warden moving in with the Lalo from the right side over the enemy RC. Raging up the headhunters to help take her down with ease. As that queen's continuing her way through. The RC's taking on that monolith. It goes down. Almost. Rocky Loon's coming out of that flame flinger. And the monolith is gone. Balloons flying around this base. Two balloons left. Only one freeze. And P. Castro crushing this one here. It is a three star. Well done. We've got a hog, a giant, a barb. Doesn't need it. Swag in the free spell as well. 
GG to you, P. Castro. Leading it off with the three as well. Max and his Skelly Donut is up. Wait, wait, wait. We got one Skelly, not a Skelly Donut. It's going to be a Super Archer Blimp dodging. Barely. Oh, he finds a tornado trap. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mayday, 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 mayday. There's two sticky. Mayday, 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 mayday. It's Super Minions. He double clones. He's going to try to take this out. Did he try to go for the town hall? I don't know. I mean, maybe not. I guess we'll have to figure that out. Super Minions do get that poison spell launched at them. They are killing off the rest of the clan castle. And yes, CC is gone. Whoa. Whoa, he doesn't need that town hall going down. I think that's what he was going for. That value was immense right there. What? Look at this warden continuing his way through. He's going to die off finally. But this king is going to make his way. And he, this king can path his way into the town hall. My goodness. As we have the super barbs taking out the defensive king, the town hall becomes invisible. But that's okay. Because the invisibility spell will wear off and the king will come back around. There's a freeze on the monolith so the king can continue his way through. The tunnel is not even activated. Now it does. Passes 51%. Pops the ability. And the king's going straight for this town hall. As we got an RC being used down to the bottom side into the eagle artillery. Ground skeletons popping up down there. Town hall goes down to that king. As Super Bob's coming around the edge. Does have that queen still. As he makes his way through this base. RC's going to burn ability soon here through this crown expo, but does still have the spirit. No, spirit fox is dead. Oh, wait a sec. Things are dying off here. Popping queen ability. He has to freeze. He perfectly freezes up that ricochet can because that spirit fox is dead and he's okay. It was a little sketchy there, but, but, but that wall break opened it up and he took that down and it is a three star answer for Max. And V A E. GG. Gaku up next. And Gaku's got the Queen Charge Lalo. So, how does he want to charge this Queen here? Let's take a look. So, if this Queen charges her way like this into the Eagle Artillery, which means he would probably want to wall break right here. So, the King can go here and the King can take out this. And, oh, is that a, oh, it's a closed wall. Okay, so the queen's going to continue her way through here. King come here. And king take this out? Maybe? We do have a sweeper that's here. So if he tries to lolo this way and a blimp go for the, the town hall, he will have to contend with the sweeper. Yep, there's the king. Oh, so he's not, oh, yep, there's the wall break. Okay. So I was just thinking you send the king here because it's a little easier maybe to get him in, but he's good so far taking out that queen with that king ability now he can wall break yep there you go oh no he wall broke this so he can wall break again he can wall break here now perfect so the queen can step into here into here and reach this 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 and this which means that oh the lala's coming here i would say the rc could like sneak into this multi essentially as the blimp is indeed going for that town hall and there you go. There's the Raw Champion coming in for the multi. As the Queen's going to take her time, continuing her charge through towards this multi here. As the Town Hall goes down with ease to those Yetis from that blimp. As he needs to continue his way through, dropping more balloons to the bottom. The Monolith is going down. More balloons coming into this multi. There is a Rage and a Freeze onto the Air Defense. Multi-target Inferno. As he tries to continue his way through, if he had the Giant Arrow on his Queen, he could have burned the ability and went... Whoop! right on through the base the arrow could have went but he doesn't have it that would have been the perfect time to utilize it as he freezes up this multi pops the ability now with a bunch of archers here which aren't going to do anything as he gets through this multi-target inferno he's got the freeze he's got the invis and he's going to three star here and this might come down to time so you can't be swagging your spells here too much Time is a ticking here. GG. And Gaku delivers and answers with a three star of their own. But the question is, who has the average attack duration lead? Right now, it is VA Esports by quite a bit, by uh, almost 20 seconds. But average here 
is 2 minutes 14 to 2 minutes 22. Hades is now up. And my camera has decided to turn off. Rip to my camera. Oh, okay. Let me try to fix that real quick. But either way, going up against a ring base here. Let's see. I can't handle Hades attacking. Hades is too OP, guys. Too OP. But let's see what happens here. With the Warden walk to the left. He's got five Root Riders here. And he's going to continue his way through. Good luck. Let's see. As that Town Hall is menacing in the core there. Let's see if I can change it. Oh, now I got gameplay from my webcam. Nope, don't need that. It's going to be one of these. Okay, there we go. We've got it here. As the battle drill is coming in as well. Continuing trying to path his way through. Oh boy. Can he push his way in towards that core? Popping that warden eternal tome as he's making his way across. With the ability protecting these balloons. The root riders into here. But that town hall has yet to... Go down, so that Town Hall Poison is going to be nasty. As he freezes up the Malty, the Bomb Tower on the backside pops that King Lily with that splash from that giant gauntlet, but there's that Invincible King from the Jet. Oh my, oh my. It's so strong as the RC is running her way around as he tries to continue to push through. Popping Queen ability. What kind of abilities does he have? 21 gauntlet, normal abilities for the queen, 15 healing tome, and Hades has gotten it. With about a minute left in this attack. What? RC ability can skip and hit some final buildings because time, it's all about cleanup now. He's got no cleanup down here, so use the RC for the final four buildings. He's waiting. He's being patient. There's that building going down. This is going down as well. One, two, three, and then four after the storage. Pop the ability. There you go. And speeds that up with about 42 seconds remaining. GG Hades. Satan's is in. And Satan's has got the Root Riders here. And we're all triples through the board. As a Flame Flinger is dropped with this Warden. Right at the bottom side down here. He's going to take his sweet time as that Flame Flinger can go in for the Scatter Shot. Grab that value as Warden continues his way through. To make his way left. We got Sneaky Goblins grabbing the Storages. We got a Jump Spell as well. Taking his time with a level 21 King Gauntlet. And he's going to path his way in from the opposite side of the tower to go into the Eagle Artillery. Ground Skeletons. Or he's Skeleton spell being used to help distract that monolith. King off to the left side. As the king can path his way into the scatter shot all the way over there. As the Root Riders continuing to path their way through this base. Opening up these walls as the defensive rage goes off. Continuing towards that town hall. Popping that war internal tome. Pulling out archers and archers and more archers. With ice golems that are going to slow him down. King is now going to make his way to the scatter shot to take out the defense of Queen Yeti. He's coming out of the flame flinger. Opens up now. Drops the jump spell, even though the Rue Riders bust through the wall anyways. I think the jump might have been there as like an insurance. As he continues his way towards this town hall, the Yeti mites have died off. They did clear off the scatter shot here. But a lot of the Rue Riders are all dying off here as he's trying to continue his way towards this town hall, but. The Rue Riders are dead, and the Queen's ability is going to be forced here soon. My friends, there's a whole Tesla farm waiting for him. On the backside of this base, Town Hall goes down. RC ability goes off. Damages that multi. It's up to the Queen ability. He's got two balloons maybe to use. Yep, uses one on the on the Wizard Tower there. Very nice with the minion to clean up. We do have an air defense down there. The minion's out of range. Waiting on this Queen ability. Pops it now. Finds a Tornado Trap. Needs to get through this defensive king, but he doesn't. That queen ability does not go for that defensive king. Dropping a headhunter and his own king to take him down. So that's actually good. He's got one super barb to use. A wizard, some archers, and a regular barb. With 40 seconds left. And Satan's 
is looking to answer but time 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 is gonna be the real question mark here va esports is going to have quite a bit of an advantage because this is gonna take the whole time in this attack here as he's continuing to clean up and if it's a perfect perfect war va esports is looking to win based on time alone as right now navi is sitting at seven minutes and 31 seconds total while va esports is at six minutes and 47 seconds a huge difference in total time which equals a 15 second average as zeus is in and it's gonna be a zap lalo he's got that maxed out healing tome he loves the healing tome Taking out a Scattershot, a Sweeper, and a Multi-Target Inferno, and the Defensive Rage. Queen's being used to the far right. Gonna take out the Eagle Artillery, wall breaking, to step in. Hmm, no healers on his Queen. He's got a Log Launcher to, to utilize. King, oh, King's gonna go into here, okay. There's a Log Launcher to try to line up the shots onto the Multi. Ground Skeleton distracting. There's a Wall Break. Does have that king ability to be able to use to get some nice value. The queen now loops her way back around to the multi-target inferno. Out comes the ice golems. Drops that poison spell. The log launcher is about to open up. And there it is. We got yetis. As the queen continues her push through. As we got a hasted balloons into this multi-target inferno. Trying to path his way to the town hall. Remember, he's got a healing tome for that warden. To really heal up these balloons as they're going to sit over the channel poison. There's a rage. There's that warden ability. Town Hall goes down with ease as he continues his way. And a bunch of balloons to the top side. Moving his way through. Balloons to the top. Balloons to the left. Balloons to the left. The right. And this is a three with a freeze left. Oh my. Hey, Zeus absolutely smashing in. Look how much time is left. So Navi pretty much have no chance to win on time at this point. They just gotta hope that VAE messes up their final attack, which is Pevu to come in. Look at this. He could pop RC ability. There it is. Skips across with a minute and 12 seconds left in this attack. Kazuma is up and a three star 100% needed. But they have to triple as fast as humanly possible. But I don't think that's going to be the case here for a Queen Charge Lalo. Because, yes, it could be quick if you get it down perfectly. But it's going to be tough. Tough to make a comeback on time here as healers are down on this Queen. She's going to step up into this multi. Drops a balloon for any red air bumps. Oh, wow. That was quite a bit of traps right there. Successfully pulls those. As the queen is getting hit by the monolith. Tries to keep her alive. Looking good so far. Okay. Staying alive through this monolith. As the king is now coming on the far left side. The queen can loop around in towards the monolith compartment. Wait. Wait. Hades. That monolith is reachable. Oh, rip. Was that intended? A reachable monolith that Kazuma saw? Um, uh, the minion pulling a red air bomb, dropping a balloon to try to test for more seeking air mines. Out comes rocket loons and ice golems here. There's a poison. There's a wall break, finds a tornado trap, gets spun around, but this queen is gonna deal with the ice golems first, so he's, the queen's not gonna step into the tornado, so he's perfectly fine here. Pulls more traps, king ability goes off, queen's gonna continue her charge for that town hall. Taking care of the air skellies as the king came back to life with the phoenix. Got to make the healers raging them up and the queen invisible so the healers are protected. As the talent goes down, sends a stone slammer, finding double seeking air mines right off the bat to that left side there as he continues his way through. Stone slammer helps take out that ricochet cannon. Stone slammer is about to open up here, freezes up that multi, which is raged. We have a Diggy that got transferred from the RC because she is dead to the Queen. And the Diggy is dead. Hang on here. The Scattershot is still up. These balloons need to path their way through. Does have an Inferno Dragon. Warren's helping to take out the Scattershot. A couple balloons left. Popping the Queen ability. Ricochet Cannon goes down. 
And there's only 50 seconds left. It's a three, but it's a slow three from all the other three stars that we've seen with about a minute 12 left, a minute left. GG to Navi, but nowadays three stars are not enough. You got to be a fast three stars. GG, Kazuma. All tied up 12 to 12 and Pevu is in. He's focused on three starring because I think he can three star with all the time and they probably can still win on time. So good luck to you, Pevu. With Rocket Loons coming in, he took care of that. Uh, with the lightning spells of the multi and the defensive rage as we got a blimp going for the town hall, raging that blimp up. Pulls out the CC. Town Hall goes down. Ground Expo goes down. Didn't pull out the Ice Golems here. And the Mortar stays up. Drops that Queen to the left side. Does still have a Poison spell. Which is going to be Ice Golem. So it's not too big of a deal. As this Queen is going to go through. And you're probably wondering, Carbon, how do you know it's Ice Golems? I'm just assuming it's Ice Golems. Because usually you put a lot of Archers in front of it. So we'll see what happens. As the Queen is going to grab the Air Defense. Drop the Giant. The King into the Defensive King. Doesn't have any wall breaks, so the king will pass his way into this multi with the ability. Ice Golem out in front of this queen here. Drops that Valkyrie. We got a wizard up top a little bit. As this queen's going to continue her path through towards the scatter. Pops the king ability. And there it is. There's some goblins, headhunters, and ice golems now coming out of here. That king... Oh, the queen ability is forced through some headhunters. The king is trying to clear these ice golems though, but it might not be able to get that multi... Yep, that king is getting stopped by the Ice Golem, so that is a problem. And it stays. Here we go. This might be a defense here for Pikachu. Hang on. The multi. The ground expo remains as he's continuing his way through. The queen is dead. We got the multi archer tower still up. Here comes Headhunters around all the way across. When he's going to pop this warning ability, and he pops it. But he loses the one Headhunter that was protected under a Warden Eternal Tome. Guys. 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 This multi-arch tower is going to do so much damage to the RC. He freezes it up. Balloons get hit by a tornado. Gets spun around. He's trying to make his way to the enemy queen and scattershot. But the balloons are dying. He's got a haste. The RC's dead. Time is not going to be a factor here. A two star for Pevu. Which means that Klaus can win with a triple. Or he just has to get above a 70 or whatever percent this is. 80%. As long as Klaus beats whatever this percentage is, they win. Wow. This Ice Golem stuff here definitely caused a problem. And the King was not able to get that. And only an 85. So if Klaus gets an 86%, they win. 45? Guys, I think that... Guys? 40? Guys? Pitbull's like, yo, wait, wait, hold, 35? <laughs> Normally you don't go, okay, he's in, okay, okay. Klaus is in with 30 seconds left in the war. Oh, geez, we're getting nervous. We were getting nervous, okay. <sighs> Klaus, all you need is an 86% to win this war. You only have about 26 people watching you right now, Klaus. So, uh, good luck. It's almost even on both sides of the clan. No pressure, Klaus. No pressure. It's the Zap Lalo. Lightning spells to remove. The multi, the expo, the defensive rage spell. What else? Queen is down to the top side. Behind is the Ice Golem out in front of her. King as well. Wall breaks. Opens the wall to get the King to go into the Defensive King. The Defensive Queen. Headhunter helps slow him down. Ice Golem perfectly freezes them up. Otherwise the Queen would have locked down the Headhunter first. There's another wall break. Busts through just the Queen platform only unfortunately. So he, but he does have access to that multi. Unfortunately it's a little awkward here. As he does deploy the Warden already. With that blimp to help protect... The, or the Warden Belly would protect this blimp and these balloons, the Lava Hound, as he continues through. And that King is going to take out the air defense by hitting the walls. And the Queen helps grab the multi. The Yetis from the blimp grab the Town Hall as a million balloons are coming around this base. 
and he even still has his Royal Champion, sends her in now, and he's just freezing and freezing and moving around with hay spells, hounds, pulling some traps. This is Klaus after all. This is Klaus after all, my friends. Look at these balloons continuing their way through, and he's definitely going to surpass an 86%. G, G to you, Klaus. He's going in for the three. And the perfect war from Navi. And they are delivering. All it takes is one fail nowadays. One fail. And you will lose the war. G, G. What a war we had. And it came down to Pevu's hit. Which was the 85% two star. G, G to Navi. Winning this one here in the Clash of United Cup. 15 to 14. 100% to a 97. GG Navi.